President of the Turkish Presidency of Defense Industry Professor Dr. Ismail Demir was the guest of the special under record program broadcast on Haber Global on August 10, 2022. Answering the questions of the program host Sainer Tetzel about the defense industry, Demir also made statements about the Altai tank. There are few companies in the world that make this level of powertrain. It's not an easy job. Our engine has been tested for quite some time. The 1,500 horsepower group will directly appeal to the Altai tank. Our 1,000 horsepower group engine goes a little further. Tests continue. Towards 2025, Altai will go with our domestic engine. It takes a certain time for the engine to reach the level to be used. For example, Korea's tank is very similar to ours. Currently, Korea only uses engines. The powertrains are from Germany. When we started our first engine process, it would have started with support from two Western companies, but it did not happen. There was an attitude not to give the engine of the tank to Turkey. These were there before. Turkey is no longer a country that will live by the standards allowed by others. If we want to protect our national interests independently, this is useless. This is an issue that a country should pay attention to, along with lessons learned. Demir, in his statement regarding the Altai main battle tank, stated that the tests of the power groups supplied from the Republic of Korea continue. He explained that if the tests are successful, the mass production process will start with the Korean power group. Demir stated that in parallel with this, the work on the domestic power group continues and that the target is to use these systems in the Altai tank in the future.